As a painter turned digital artist, I really miss the feeling of dragging a paintbrush across a canvas. I love the sound the bristles make, the way it feels in my hand, just everything about it. So when I discovered that there's a paintbrush made for tablets, I was so flippin' excited. Hey y'all, I'm Brad and welcome to my digital art channel, Brave the Woods. Now today I'm gonna to be testing out and reviewing a paintbrush stylus by the company called Atmosphere. And no, this isn't a sponsored video. I just got really excited when I saw the ad for this thing because it reminded me of my painting days, my analog painting days, because you know, before I was a solely a digital artist, I did a lot of painting and uh, I really miss it. So if this thing does what it claims it can and uh, makes me, you know, reminds me of painting analog on my iPad, then I feel like that's a huge win. Now this specific one that I'm gonna be using today is the second gen brush and it's a filbert style. I don't know if you're familiar with paint brushes, but this is a filbert style and uh, it's really versatile. So I like it as an actual paint brush and I'm really excited to use it as a stylus. All right, so for this review, I'm gonna be working on the iPad Pro and I'm going to be testing this brush out in two different painting apps, two of my favorites. First one here that I'm in right now is Procreate. And of course, you know, I love the Procreate app, um, but we're also gonna work in Adobe Fresco. I'm gonna test it out there because I really wanna see what this does with the live brushes in there. Really cool. So right now we're in Procreate and I have lots of different brushes I've downloaded and purchased over the years. A little disorganized, so we're gonna find some of the painting ones and uh, and test it out. So let's try this uh, Posca one, Posca paint pen. I think that I have it set to right now. This brush. Well, that's pretty cool. I don't know what I was expecting, but it feels like you're painting. It feels so weird. It might feel different. Let's see if I shrink it down. Yeah, that feels more like a stylus. But I mean, like the actual feel of the the bristles on the surface just feels so much more natural. Like I do a lot of painting uh, on the iPad and I really love it because they've done a great job of mimicking uh, the paint strokes and things and building up the layers of paint in the apps themselves. Um, but you know, as much as I love the Apple Pencil, uh, this is like my favorite stylus ever, it's still kind of foreign, right? Like it feels kind of foreign and weird when you're trying to paint with a brush like or with a piece of plastic on a glass screen. Uh, so this just kind of brings it one step closer to feeling like actually painting or at least reminding you of what it was like to <laughs> to paint analog, which uh, that gets me really excited because I, I, I love that process. I, I do love, I don't know if you can hear it, but the sound of the bristles on there, it's so soft and um, I don't know. I, I, I didn't really come to this planning to do like a full painting. Maybe I'll do that in the future. Right now I just truly wanted to test it out. Uh, and see how it was. So I'm gonna try out a few more brushes on here, but just so you know, since you can't physically hold this right now, it's really, really light. It's way lighter than I thought it was. It kind of feels like an actual paintbrush. It's not super heavy like a stylus, uh, a true stylus, but um, on both sides, so on the front here, you have the, the filbert style tip uh, with the bristles. And then you also have this little soft, uh, squishy little part at the bottom here for more of like, uh, if you wanna tap on, uh, specific buttons. It's kind of hard to do it with these bristles and I'm kind of worried I would like bend the bristles and it would look all weird so I use the back end of that which is great. I like that addition. I'm a little worried about the durability of it because it does feel so light and I worry about this joint right here so uh, I'm gonna follow up and, and, and you know once I try it out you know test it out a little bit longer and see if it's still if it gets wobbly or anything like that but uh, so far it feels really, really nice. So let's test out one more thing. Let's go and uh, we'll clear this. Oh, I, I have, right now I have this, uh, this little layered uh, texture over top of paper texture. And uh, we're gonna test out maybe another, or do I have any watercolors? Yep, watercolor pack right here. Let's try this dry blender. I'll try a different color, maybe more of like a pink color. And what that texture pack does is it just kind of makes it look like, this is actually called the cold press, or no, this is a gouache paper, I guess. Um, so it's gonna feel very texture heavy. Automatically your art just lives underneath it, which is kind of cool. So you automatically are feeling like it's, a, this actually just takes it one step further to feeling more real, which is kind of cool. And I know Atmosphere has uh, a bunch of different texture uh, files that you can download as well, or purchase and download. Uh, to make it look even even better. So check those out as well. That is so cool. It just feels, it feels so natural 
It feels right. <laughs> I guess it's, that's what I'm saying. It feels very right. I feel like I want to put a yellow in here. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna keep playing around with this. I mean, it's just it just has such a cool feel to it. Just draw, just uh, having those bristles all over the the page, not it being like a tapping noise from your stylus. So neat. Okay, so I, like I said, didn't have anything really planned. I just wanted to test it out. So now let's go try it out in Adobe Fresco with those live brushes. All right, so now we're magically here in the Adobe Fresco app, and I am so excited to test out these brushes. These are the live brushes I was telling you about, and this is what sold me on trying out Fresco in the first place. I thought it was gonna be really gimmicky, but it was actually really cool. So let's look at these watercolor brushes. This is just a watercolor flat. Maybe it's blue. Let's try this blue here. Look at that, that is so sweet. So what it's doing, you'll see that it's still bleeding after I'm done. So it mimics a really wet brush and it layers really nicely. You can see it continue to grow a little bit. That in combination with this brush here, it is so, so neat. Let me try this uh, this yellow here with it and see how it does. What? That is so cool. And if you're not familiar with Fresco as well, you can adjust the amount of the water flow. So if you want that to kind of like chill out a little bit and have a drier brush, um, you, can, you can adjust that and slide that down a little bit. Or you can even go to that layer and just dry that layer automatically and work on the next layer, which is really neat. So you have a lot of control over that. But man, that feels super cool. All right, so let's test out a different color again, and uh, maybe green. And then I'm gonna use a different kind of brush. So those are the, that's a watercolor brush. What does the oil brushes look like? Maybe oil paint round? Let's see. Whoa, okay, that brush is a little big. That does feel a little unnatural when the brush is so much bigger than the, oh, that, see, that feels like it's exactly, almost there, almost there. Like, that feels like it's exactly the same size as the brush. I think that's kind of the coolest way to use this is by matching that brush size to your brush because it feels even more real. You can see it kind of building up. I don't know if you can see that here, but it's like building up and it has a canvas texture. So for example, if I want to add like a blue color to this, it's actually going to mix in just like you're mixing real paints. If I was to paint wet on wet, it would kind of pick up that color underneath it. And you can adjust that as well. That's what this little swirl, like little swirly icon is down here. Uh, you can go through and make that even, you know, more extreme. Man, oh man. Okay, every time I do a painting project, I do painting, I'm gonna use this because it feels so, so cool. Yeah, you're gonna have to test it out. So, and you, Atmosphere was kind enough to give us a 15% off uh, if you want to buy one yourself. So that's all in the link in the description below. 15% uh, off if you use the code Brave the Woods. And uh, you can test one of these out yourself. I think they run around 25 bucks a piece. So not too much, to, especially if you're going to be something that you're going to use quite a bit if you're a digital artist and you love to have like that painterly style, then you're really going to love this. So. Okay, if I just, I can literally just sit here and play forever. I feel like it's just like that SMR, uh, ASMR, ASMR, that's what it's called, yeah. And where you can, the, the sound is really soothing, but also just making paint strokes and mixing colors is just, uh, just gets me in a little zone. So anyways, that feels cool. Uh, you should definitely check this out. My final thoughts on the Atmospheria second generation paintbrush stylus. It's a lot of words. Uh, I really liked it. Now I had really high expectations for it just because I wanted it to feel like the real thing. Well, at least as close as you could get on a tablet. And this is probably as close as you can get. It feels really nice because it has the actual bristles. It's light and it's really comfortable. So for that, I applaud Atmosphere. Uh, it's such a cool product. I'm really glad I got one. The only con that I could really see with this brush is maybe uh, this little joint right here. I'm kind of worried about the integrity of it a little bit uh, because the materials are so light and uh, I can feel a little slight wobble to it. And maybe that was because I pushed too hard and you need to be really delicate with it. That's probably it. Uh, or I might've had just a dud and this one was just a little loose and I can go back to Atmosphere 
and get a different one. But regardless, I feel like you do need to because it is so light. Uh, you do need to have kind of a lighter hand when you're painting with it. So just a little FYI, still love the brush, glad I bought it. And of course you can get your own. There's two different brushes besides this one. They have different shaped uh, tips and even like colors and uh, different functions on the brush itself. So check those out at the link below in the description. You can see that. And of course, again, use that promo code uh, Brave the Woods to get 15% off. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. Please subscribe, like, and do all those fun things. And uh, we'll see you next time. All right, so a quick little update about this wobbly head issue that I had mentioned. Uh, I just solved it by adding a little dab of super glue in there. It's hollow right here in the head. I could pop it right off, add a dab, a little super glue, and uh, now it is strong as ever. Yep, it's straight. It doesn't, I'm not feeling any wobbliness anymore. I did talk to Atmosphere though and ask them if that was something that uh, has happened before. They said it's been known to happen, um, but they were willing just to send me a brand new brush. So that was awesome.